Pulse 95. Between local lines, notes from the Emirate. Notes from the Emirates, indeed, a big landmark here in the, or milestone here in the uh, Emirates of Sharjah has been the launch and uh, the opening of uh, the uh, waste to energy plants. And it's uh, a huge moment for us to celebrate because it's the first one in the Middle East. Now, to understand how uh, a waste to energy plant works, we're very kindly uh, joined by the senior engineer, Nof Wazir, uh, very good morning to you, Nof. Hello, good morning. Great to hear from you. Now, I'd like to understand a little bit more about waste to energy plants uh, because a lot of people uh, who will be listening to this, they, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a known thing. Waste to energy plants are, have, do exist across the world. But for people to understand, the rubbish that they has been collected will now be turned into energy. They might be confused. So from the engineer's perspective... Tell us about how it all works and how is energy produced? Okay, very well. So basically, waste to energy plants essentially generate energy from waste. It produces lower emissions than fossil fuels alternatives, and it can also be very cost effective. So I will be highlighting the innovation behind the Sharjah Waste Energy Plant. We wanted to find a clean energy solution that also addresses one main challenge, which is how can we process waste and even waste that is unrecyclable and keep it out of landfills? So this is the way we were thinking. And then BIA and Mazdar's partnership was formed, combining forces between BIA as an industry leader in waste management and Mazdar as an industry leader in renewable energy. We have developed the Sharjah Waste to Energy Plant and it has became the first project of our joint venture, the Emirates Waste to Energy Company. So I will be giving you a brief about the process. Mm -hmm. um, it's a quite sophisticated process uh, that we that we use, uh, where we basically introduce uh, non-recyclable waste inside the plant, and we basically burn that waste to generate energy, and then that energy is transformed into electrical uh, energy. So how much waste are we talking about that will uh, the, the, the plant will process on a daily basis? We basically treat around 300,000 tons per year. That is around 37.5 tons per hour. Mm -hmm. So the daily rates obviously depend on the amount of non-recyclable waste that we, uh, that we receive and the number of hours the plant will be running in the day. And the plant itself will be able to generate 30 megawatts of power and to make it easier to imagine, 30 megawatts are enough to power 28,000 houses. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely incredible, especially reading about the process itself and the way that nothing within goes to waste. Every element, every aspect of the process is going to be used to generate energy. Uh, can you tell us why this is a big deal? Why is this so significant, not just for the region or for the country, but also for Sharjah as well? So in Sharjah, the plant is helping achieve zero waste to landfill goals. Uh, these are our targets for years. And BIA had already achieved 76% landfill waste diversion with advanced recycling and material recovery. Now, with the waste to energy, Sharjah can achieve 100% landfill waste diversion, and it will be the first city to achieve this in the Middle East. Sharjah is also becoming, obviously, a beacon in the region to demonstrate waste to energy innovation as a solution for net, z net zero emission and uh, zero waste future. Uh, furthermore, how much will this project uh, advance the, the UAE's initiative to achieve its net zero emissions by the year 2050? So as I mentioned, uh, because we are aiming in diversifying uh, renewable energy sources, this is considered as a clean energy uh, source um, among the other uh, types of technologies that are used. So this is how we are helping the UAE in achieving its 2050 um, goals. I, I want to touch upon uh, the educational elements. How, how does this, um, the, the creation of this, uh, this plant now uh, going to be translated to the young ones? Will, they, will you be running school tours? Are you going to go to different schools and, and talking to them about managing waste? Because now for, for a lot of people, this is going to sort of remind them to think, hmm, the, the rubbish that I've just collected in my own house can, can be used instead mm -hmm. of just dumping it in a recycle bin and then let be a handle it. Now I can see what, where it goes. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. So be a group, uh, the, the partner that is the waste management pioneer and, and the partner in UAE's uh, Emirates Waste Energy Partnership uh, has several community initiatives to encourage recycling. For example, our Be a Tanzif uh, Waste Recycling, waste, waste Collection, sorry, uh, department uh, specializes in providing uh, door to door awareness sessions. And our Be a Education company is part of our group's business, also provides um, community engagement uh, programs, training and development, as well as rewards for individuals and companies that champion sustainable causes. Now, in terms of the community, BI Education is also educating students and communities through various interactive educational programs, as well as contests and rewards to incentivize, incentivize sorry, recycling and magic waste. What about us as individuals who are listening to you right now? How can we um, um, establish new habits, um, daily habits that can actually contribute to excelling at this, at this project furthermore? So um, I think uh, the main message would be uh, to know the value, to understand that um, the, the, the importance of the proper uh, use of uh, our resources and using them as much as we can. Like, uh, I don't know if you heard about the concept of the three R's of waste management. It's reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. So we need to uh, use our resources as much as we can. And if we cannot, we should recycle them. Uh, so uh, what I would, uh, the message uh, we always like to give is the importance of recycling and the proper disposal mm. of waste. And Alia, just looking through your resume, you're such an inspiring figure and you've done so much in this field as well. Uh, can, you tell us, can you tell us some more about where you hope uh, we will be moving forward in the future, where the technology is heading, uh, and how you're driving this change that the country is, is heading towards? Yes, so uh, waste to energy is just the start, and our Sharjah waste to energy power plant is, is the first, but it's def it definitely will not be the last one. And um, after, uh, after the establishment of our Sharjah waste to energy, it became easier for us and for everyone mm. to realize that it's not uh, a difficult thing to achieve. And this concept can be replicated across the Emirates and the, mm. the region itself. Uh, and it does not just stop at waste energy. We are yeah. also uh, researching and developing more uh, projects uh, that um, that are related to waste energy and the proper disposal of waste. So, mm -hmm. yes. And, and in order for us to reach those uh, lofty goals as well, we need more people like you with a passion for this sector, uh, energy as well. Uh, how did you acquire this passion and what would you tell younger people who want to make that impact and that change in the country? I, I have always been uh, a curious person. I always uh, love to ask questions and understand how, how processes happen and uh, all these details. So it was extremely interesting to, to, to study engineering and then uh, to work at such an inspirational organization. I remember when I was in my college days, I always heard about BIA and I would tell my friends I have to get a job there. Mm. And uh, yeah, it, it was like... A, a dream coming true to be honest to be part of this amazing team that achieved so much in so little time to be honest yes no rightly so and i think for us uh, in the uae when we first saw the press release about the plans of building this plant everyone was very excited uh, so finally just to conclude now that the whole project is complete it's been a while uh, since it was being built it was planned in 2018 and now we see it in front of our own very eyes um as an engineer, how proud of you of seeing this this building, and uh, to what extent can we see more uh, energy produced from this particular plant? So uh, definitely, it's like uh, a dream coming true because uh, we we faced a lot of challenges. To mm. be very honest and transparent with you, this being the first of its kind in the Arab region has caused us a lot of um, a lot of let's say a lot of challenges along the way so seeing this moment that the, the opening ceremony was was just uh, 
it was very emotional for me mm. to be honest and uh, when it comes to the plant itself how we can generate more energy the plant is designed in a way where it can be uh, expanded let's say like uh, the the process happens in one single line but we can extend it to another line that is if we required more capacity to 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 treat the waste this is if along the years the, the amount of waste that Sharjah is producing has increased, we can do that. And then obviously uh, the, the energy that we would produce will be more as well. No, certainly. Well, looking forward to uh, seeing what the country has to offer and what, how the Emirates is also progressing in terms of being uh, or pioneering with such an uh, initiative. And Nof Wazir, Senior Engineer at uh, BIA, thank you very much for joining us this morning and elaborating uh, on uh, the waste to energy plant uh, of Sharjah, which has opened up in a such area. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. While you were listening to Nof Wazir uh, on Pulse 95. We'll be right back after some more musical entertainment and, of course, the sports headlines. You're listening to The Morning Majlis only on Pulse 95. If you liked this episode of The Morning Majlis, drop a like and subscribe. 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse.